Let's dive into the amusing tale of Maeda Toshi Ie, famously known for his rule over the northern regions of Kaga, Echizen, and Noto in the Hakuriku area. During his childhood, Toshi Ie had a bold and daring personality, earning him the nickname Inichio. This nickname stuck with him even as he grew older, and many warlords affectionately called him by this pet name. Interestingly, Toshi Ie was born in the same year as the renowned Tayotomi Hideyoshi in 1537 this shared birth year with Hideyoshi, who would later become a prominent figure. Undoubtedly had some influence on Toshi Ie's life as they developed a close relationship, especially considering their shared origins in Awari province. So, from his early days as the spirited Inichio to his eventual rise as a powerful daimyo, Maeda Toshi Ie's upbringing and connection with Hideyoshi shaped his path in ways both humorous and significant. Let's embark on a humorous tale about Maeda Toshi Ie, who later became known as the Abacus Loving Daimyo, and renowned for his steadfast character. But in his youth, he served under Oda Nobunaga and roamed the streets with his band of merry fools, sporting peculiar attire that turned heads wherever they went. During this time, young Toshi Ie had a quick temper and carried a flashy long spear, causing people to steer clear whenever they spotted him in town. Rumor has it that even the bravest souls would swiftly change course to avoid any unnecessary confrontation with the spirited Maeda Toshi Ie. In August of 1552, Toshi Ie achieved a remarkable feat during the Battle of Keazu, which erupted between Oda Nobunaga and the Lord of Kiyosu Castle, Oda Nobutomo. He proudly collected enemy heads and added to his list of conquests. Continuing his exploits, Toshi Ie participated in the battles of Ino and Yukino. Earning further accolades and spreading his reputation as a formidable warrior, Oda Nobunaga himself deeply admired Toshi Ie's strength and held him in high regard lavishing him with affection and praise. So, from his wild and eccentric youth in the company of fools, Maeda Toshi Ie rose to become a figure of great power. Leaving a trail of victories and earning the admiration of both friend and foe alike. Let's weave a delightful and whimsical tale about the marriage between Maeda Toshi Ie and the brilliant beauty known as Matsu, when he was 22 years old in 1558. Despite their age difference, Toshi Ie being 22 and Matsu a mere 12, fate brought them together. Matsu, from a young age, possessed both striking looks and a sharp mind. She was a talented woman who excelled in reading, writing, and even the abacus. Their union would prove to be a legendary partnership. One that captured the attention of the NHK Taiga drama, Toshi Ie and Matsu. Through this drama, the world came to know the story of Matsu, who dedicated her life to supporting Maeda Toshi Ie. Even after his passing, she selflessly sacrificed herself to protect the Maeda family, becoming just as famous as her husband. Toshi Ie and Matsu shared an extraordinary bond, and their love resulted in the birth of eleven children. It is said that Matsu, while residing in a mansion beneath the mighty walls of Azuki Castle, developed a close friendship with Nene, the wife of Toyotomi Hideyoshi, 
who lived next door. Their friendship blossomed, and together, they painted a vibrant and spirited picture of life within the castle town. The tales of Maeda Toshi Ie in the enchanting Matsu, their remarkable marriage, and Matsu's unwavering devotion to the Maeda family will forever be etched in history. Let's craft a humorous and entertaining tale about Maeda Toshi Ie and his dramatic fall from favor within the Oda clan. Maeda Toshi Ie, married to a brilliant and talented wife, enjoyed the favor and affection of Oda Nobunaga. Everything seemed to be going smoothly for him, but his hot blooded nature would soon lead to a colossal incident. Enter the infamous Kogai Jiri incident. Toshi Ie, in a fit of rage, unsheathed his sword and struck down Wami, one of Oda Nobunaga's favored attendants, right before his very eyes. This act of madness left Oda Nobunaga furious, and he swiftly imposed a disciplinary measure, suspending Toshi Ie from his service. The direct cause of Toshi Ie's violent outburst was said to be the theft of his beloved Japanese swords Kogai by Wami. Enraged by the theft, Toshi Ie confronted the situation, seeking Oda Nobunaga's intervention. However, instead of resolving the matter, Wami not only failed to show remorse but also slandered Toshi Ie behind his back. This pushed Toshi Ie to the brink, culminating in the fatal act of violence. Regardless of the reason, Maeda Toshi Ie had earned the wrath of Oda Nobunaga, resulting in the loss of his position and leaving him to wander the provinces as a ronin, or masterless samurai. From this point forward, Toshi Ie's journey takes an unexpected turn. Filled with twists, mishaps, and unexpected encounters. Join him as he embarks on an epic adventure, encountering eccentric characters, finding newfound allies, and seeking redemption in the most peculiar ways. The tale of Maeda Toshi Ie's unconventional path as a wandering samurai will surely leave you laughing and gasping for more. Let's dive into a humorous and entertaining tale of Maeda Toshi Ie's triumphant return to the Oda clan, where his valor and loyalty are put to the test. After losing the favor of Oda Nobunaga, Maeda Toshi Ie set out on a mission to repay his debts and reclaim his place in the Oda family. Determined to win back Oda Nobunaga's trust, he embarked on a series of daring exploits. Showcasing his martial prowess and unwavering loyalty. In the year 1560, during the Battle of Akehazama, where Oda Nobunaga clashed with Imagawa Yoshimoto, Toshi Ie, without permission, charged into the fray as part of the Oda forces. He left his mark by claiming the heads of three enemy warriors, earning great distinction. Yet, alas! Oda Nobunaga remained hesitant to grant him forgiveness. Undeterred, Toshi Ie concocted a brilliant plan to amass even greater accomplishments. Without seeking approval, he engaged in a fierce contest against Saito Yoshitatsu, known as the Battle of Moribi. There, he once again showcased his prowess on the battlefield, achieving remarkable feats. Finally, his determination and undeniable valor earned him the recognition he sought, and he was welcomed back into the fold of the Oda clan. Reunited with the Oda family, 
Maeda Toshi Iye pledged his unwavering loyalty to Oda Nobunaga with renewed fervor. His contributions to the expansion of Oda territory were nothing short of legendary. Solidifying his reputation as a fearless and indomitable warrior. Join us on this rollicking adventure as we witness Maeda Toshi Iye's audacious exploits, navigating treacherous battles, forging unexpected alliances, and ultimately winning back the favor of the mighty Oda Nobunaga. This tale of valor, determination, and hilarious mishaps will leave you in stitches while marveling at the indomitable spirit of Maeda Toshi Iye. Prepare yourself for a hilarious tale of unexpected succession and family dynamics as Maeda Toshi Iye assumes the role of the head of the Maeda clan. Once again serving as a loyal retainer in the Oda clan. Toshi Iye received an extraordinary command from Oda Nobunaga himself, to succeed as the head of the Maeda family, bypassing his eldest son. In 1569, during the twelfth year of the Iroku era, Maeda Toshi Iye officially became the new master of the Maeda clan. It was a surprising turn of events, as the previous head, Maeda Yoshihisa, had been succeeded by his eldest son, Maeda Toshihisa. However, due to Toshihisa's lack of children and fragile health, Oda Nobunaga saw in Toshi Iye the perfect candidate to lead the Maeda clan with his exceptional martial skills. As the news spread that Maeda Toshi Iye was to inherit the reins of power and become the lord of Uraku Castle, the birthplace of the Maeda family, a comedic chain of events unfolded. Not only did Toshihisa step aside, but his adopted son, Maeda Keiji, and the esteemed Maeda retainer, Okumura Nagatomi, also found themselves packing their bags and bidding farewell to the castle. With uproarious fanfare, Maeda Toshi Iye, with his larger-than-life personality and unmatched bravery, ascended to become the true leader of the Maeda clan. From that day forward, he would navigate the intricacies of family politics, managing the clan's vast territories and leaving a lasting mark on the pages of history. Join us as we delve into the delightful story of Maeda Toshi Iye's unexpected rise to power, filled with comical twists, eccentric characters, and the colorful dynamics of the Maeda family. Get ready for a roller coaster ride of laughter and intrigue as the unassuming underdog assumes the mantle of leadership. Hold on tight as we delve into the epic and hilarious tales of Maeda Toshi Iye, the unrivaled spear wielder of Japan. From the start, Toshi Iye had showcased his remarkable spear skills earning countless accolades. But it was after regaining Oda Nobunaga's trust that his legend truly took flight. In the tumultuous Battle of Kanegasaki, against the forces of the Asai and Asakura clans, Toshi Iye's prowess was so revered that he was entrusted with protecting none other than Oda Nobunaga himself. However, it was in the legendary Battle of Anagawa in 1570 that Toshi Iye cemented his status as the unparalleled master of the spear. As the combined forces of Oda Nobunaga and Tokugawa Ieyasu clashed with the armies of Asai Nagamasa and Asakura Yoshikage, Toshi Iye achieved the unimaginable. He single-handedly vanquished Asai Nagamasa's retainer, 
the valiant warrior Asai Tsukashichiro, earning him the illustrious title of the unrivaled Spear of Japan. But Toshi Ie's exploits didn't stop there. In the fierce Battle of Kasugai Tsutsumi, fought against the forces of the Ishiyama Hongonji Temple, he stood his ground as the Oda forces retreated. Becoming the lone warrior who bravely held the battlefield and ensured the safe escape of his comrades. With each passing battle, Toshi Ie's reputation soared. He claimed numerous heads in the ferocious Battle of Ichijidani Castle, the tumultuous Nagashima Iko Iki Uprising, and the epic Battle of Nagashino. Oda Nobunaga's trust in him grew exponentially, and Maeda Toshi Ie became a household name in the war torn era of Japan. Join us on this side splitting journey as we witness the unstoppable might of Toshi Ie's spear. His unyielding loyalty to Oda Nobunaga, and the sheer audacity that made him the stuff of legends. Prepare for laughter, awe, and non-stop action as we celebrate the incredible exploits of the one and only Maeda Toshi Ie. Prepare yourselves for a wild ride as we delve into the zany adventures of Maeda Toshi Ie. After his triumphant return to the Oda clan, Toshi Ie found himself in the company of the eccentric and fearless Shibata Katsui, also known as Katsui the Unstoppable. From 1574 onwards, Toshi Ie fought alongside Katsui, tackling the likes of the riotous Iko Iki rebellion and engaging in countless exhilarating battles. In the year that followed, 1575. Toshi Ie's valor and audacity shone once again as he quelled the uprising in Echizen province. For his heroic deeds, he was rewarded with a whopping 100,000 koku of land in the prosperous Fukui region, alongside his partners in chaos, Sasa Narimasa and Fua Mitsuharu. And thus, Maeda Toshi Ie became one of the illustrious Fuchu Sanninshu, or the Three Men of Fuchu, ruling over the land of Echizen together with his comrades in arms, Sasa Narimasa and Fua Mitsuharu. But Toshi Ie's adventures didn't stop there. Under the guidance of Katsui the Unstoppable, he continued to dazzle with his bold exploits. Together with Sasa Narimasa, he even found himself locked in epic clashes against the legendary warlord Uesugi Kenshin in the beautiful lands of Hakuriku. Not content with just conquering the north, Toshi Ie answered the call of duty from Oda Nobunaga himself. He fearlessly participated in battles far beyond the reaches of Hakuriku, leaving his mark on the Grand Battle of Arayama Castle, and the exhilarating Battle of Miki. Join us as we witness Toshi Ie's hilarious misadventures. His daring battles alongside Katsui the Unstoppable, and his tireless efforts to expand and defend their territories. Get ready for uproarious laughter, heart-pounding action, and the wild ride that is Maeda Toshi Ie's life. Get ready for a roller coaster of emotions as we unravel the tale of Maeda Toshi Ie. In 1581, Toshi Ie was entrusted by Oda Nobunaga with the mighty province of Noto. Boasting a staggering 230,000 koku of land. With the impregnable fortress of Naneo Castle being passed on to another, 
Toshiie embarked on constructing his very own stronghold. The whimsically named Komarayama Castle, in the vibrant lands of Naneo, Ishikawa Prefecture. As a prominent daimyo ruling over the Hakuriku region, he poured his heart and soul into managing and developing his domain. However, in 1582, the fateful event known as the Hanaji Incident turned Toshiie's world upside down plunging him into a precarious and tumultuous position. Amidst the chaos of the Battle of Yamazaki, where Toyotomi Hideyoshi vanquished Akechi Mitsuhide, Toshiie found himself unable to participate as he was conquering another territory under the banner of Shibata Katsui. Regrettably, he couldn't avenge the fallen Oda Nobunaga. As the dust settled after the Battle of Yamazaki, the momentous Kiyosu Conference was convened to discuss the successor to the Oda clan. It was here that the previously allied Shibata Katsui and the longtime friend of Toshiie, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, clashed head on in a battle of wills. Caught in the middle, unsure of whom to support to safeguard the Maeda clan and torn between his loyalty and personal beliefs, Toshiie found himself in a dilemma of epic proportions. Oh! The anguish he endured as he grappled with this weighty decision. Join us as we witness the dramatic turn of events in Toshiie's life his struggle to navigate the treacherous waters of politics, and the comedic moments that arise from this tumultuous period. Brace yourselves for a whirlwind of emotions, laughter, and a tale that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Prepare for a tale filled with twists, dilemmas, and unexpected alliances as we delve into the intriguing story of Maeda Toshiie. In the midst of the Kiyosu Conference, where the successor to Oda Nobunaga was to be decided, Toshiie found himself aligning with Shibata Katsui, his trusted ally. But oh, the comedic turmoil he experienced. Questioning whether joining forces with Katsui was truly the right choice. Following the Kiyosu Conference, Toshiie, now a daimyo under the banner of Shibata Katsui, even engaged in peace negotiations with Toyotomi Hideyoshi. However, in the ever-changing world of the Sengoku period, Toshiie eventually made a monumental decision during the Battle of Shizugatake. He betrayed the Shibata forces and sided with the mighty Toyotomi Hideyoshi. In April of 1583, Toshiie initially joined the ranks of the Shibata forces as they marched into battle. But lo and behold, during the heat of the conflict, he succumbed to the enticement from Toyotomi Hideyoshi and suddenly ordered a complete retreat of his own troops. This unexpected turn of events caused the Shibata forces to crumble, forcing Shibata Katsui into a hasty retreat. As a result of Toshiie's decisive action, the Battle of Shizugatake ended in victory for Toyotomi Hideyoshi. From that point forward, having earned the trust of Hideyoshi, Toshiie served under him and was rewarded with the acquisition of the Kaga Nigori domain. Join us as we witness the comical dilemmas, strategic betrayals and surprising triumphs that shape the captivating journey of Maeda Toshiie. Get ready for an adventure filled with laughter, unexpected twists, and the indomitable spirit of a daimyo in the ever-changing world of the Sengoku era. 
Prepare yourself for a hilarious and adventurous tale as we delve into the exploits of Maeda Toshi Ie. Having acquired a new territory in Kaga, Toshi Ie relocated his base from Komarayama Castle to the majestic Oyama Castle and strengthened his governance over the Hakuriku region. With his unique sense of humor and cunning, Toshi Ie embarked on a mission to fortify and protect the lands under his rule. Meanwhile, in 1584, the land of Tokai became the stage for a fierce conflict known as the Battle of Kamaka and Nagakut, where the forces of Toyotomi Hideyoshi clashed with the combined armies of Tokugawa Ieyasu and Oda Nobukatsu. Sensing an opportunity, Sasa Narimasa, who had long set his sights on Noto and Kaga, launched an invasion into Noto, which was under the governance of Toshi Ie. This marked the beginning of the Battle of Sumori Castle. Sasa Narimasa, cunning as he was, surrounded the strategically important Sumori Castle. At one point, it seemed as if Toshi Ie's castle would be breached, with the inner and middle baileys facing imminent danger. However, news of Sumori Castle's peril reached Toshi Ie at Kanazawa Castle. And without wasting a moment, he led his elite force of 2,500 soldiers on a daring expedition to Noto. Employing a surprise attack, Toshi Ie outmaneuvered Sasa Narimasa's 15,000 strong army. Attacking them from the rear and swiftly recapturing Sumori Castle with his limited forces. Even after the conclusion of the Battle of Kamaka and Nagakut, where Toyotomi Hideyoshi suffered defeat, Toshi Ie continued to dedicate himself to the defense of the Hakuriku region. With his quick wit and resourcefulness, he protected his territories, ensuring the safety and stability of his domain. Prepare to be enthralled by the comedic twists, daring strategies, and unyielding determination of Maeda Toshi Ie as he safeguards his lands and triumphs against all odds in the mesmerizing battles of feudal Japan. Get ready for a hilarious and epic tale as we witness the extraordinary rise of Maeda Toshi Ie. After siding with the Toyotomi forces and successfully defending Noto in the Battle of Sumori Castle, Toshi Ie found himself embroiled in a prolonged conflict with Sasa Narimasa, which dragged on until the following year, 1585. However, in the midst of these battles, Toshi Ie decided to spice things up and embarked on a daring invasion of fortresses located on the borders of Kaga and Echu. With the assistance of Uesugi Kagekatsu, Toshi Ie's forces pushed forward into Echu, leaving a trail of laughter and chaos in their wake. But wait, there's more. Just when things couldn't get any crazier, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, now appointed as Kanpaka, dispatched a massive army of 100,000 soldiers to lay siege to the formidable Toyama Castle, held by none other than Sasa Narimasa. And who led the charge? None other than our courageous and quick-witted hero, Toshi Ie, at the helm of his 10,000-strong army. With the intervention of Oda Nobukatsu, Sasa Narimasa was forced to surrender. Facing the bitter reality of losing his territory. As a result, Toshi Ie's eldest son, Maeda Toshikatsu, received the three provinces of Echu from Toyotomi Hideyoshi as a reward. 
But the adventures didn't end there. With the passing of Tani Naomasa, who had ruled over Echizen, a territory exchange took place. And who was chosen to inherit the land previously held by the Tani clan? You guessed it, none other than our beloved Toshi Ie. And thus, with a dash of humor and a pinch of audacity, Toshi Ie emerged victorious, wielding his power over the three provinces of Kaga, Echizen, and Noto. He became the inaugural daimyo of the magnificent Kaga domain, ruling over the wondrous lands of Hakuriku with his unique blend of wit, loyalty, and an insatiable thirst for adventure. Prepare to be amazed and entertained as you witness the incredible journey of Maeda Toshi Ie, the master of mischief and conqueror of laughter in feudal Japan.